All right, hello everyone. Um, been a while since I've given an update, so I want to make a quick video um, <clears throat> with an update on where we stand. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, let's uh, start up our boards here. So I've turned on the power. Everybody's booting up. And the idea behind this is there's a bunch of different boards and you really only need to choose the boards that you need to create your machine or robot or game or whatever it is that you're making. And you can see right now, nothing happens when you push any of the buttons anywhere, uh, except for maybe this guy, which these buttons are all internal. So when I push a button on here, it just shows up on the screen that says some button has been pushed. And without any further ado, let's just load up a program that we have on here. Um, so now you can see that as I press buttons or do different things, you can see that stuff on here happens. Just a quick overview. <clears throat> Starting at the top left here, we have a just a voltage regulator board. And then we have a hobby servo board. We have a LCD screen here with displaying some information. It just so happens to be displaying um, the temperature from this temperature sensor here. You can see that when I put my fingers on it here, the temperature starts going up. I hope that you can see that on the screen. And it's also showing the weight from this weight sensor here. And if I hold this steady here for a moment, you can see that <clears throat> this weight sensor is connected to this LCD screen, and it's also connected to this um, servo up here. Going down the line, we have the Zorg board. And Zorg is here just to like be our Wi-Fi portal and to make sure that everyone is happy. We also have the stack light board over here, um, which is a <clears throat> standard indicator in industry for different statuses of machines or, uh, you know, clean room status in a, in a hospital or a bio lab place or clean rooms or anything. Going down the line, we have uh, just a basic input output board. We have some potentiometers, which are basically the same as these joysticks here. We've got some output, which are just connected to these lights. And we've also got some inputs. <clears throat> and why don't I actually um, get the terminal going here real quick. And I can show you up on the screen here. Give me one second. And let's plug in Zorg. So Zorg doesn't ever have to be plugged in, but we're just doing this so we can kind of show you what's going on on the inside. And you can see now <clears throat> that as I've moved things around or pressed certain buttons, that you can see that the there's stuff on the bus that's happening. Um, just to finish up real quick here, uh, we have a relay board, and one of these buttons is for this guy here. And we got this guy, and I believe this one. We've got another board here with some potentiometers on it. You can see that these are connected to these servos. <clears throat> and just some other buttons and a joystick. Again, the temperature sensor. <clears throat> these ones here down towards the end are for some uh, older versions of the software that we had. Those ones have not come back online. Uh, a MOSFET board, which I believe that we have something plugged in here. Yes, we have this one here. So you have all these outputs that can do things uh, for high-powered outputs for um, small motors or lights or relays or <clears throat> other things that would require 24 volts or something. <clears throat> we have a 3D printer board. And basically, this is all of the electronics that you would need for the head of a printer. Additionally, down here, we have... move my all right sorry i had to move my mic so that i can reach some of this stuff so i'm moving down the line here um <clears throat> oh yeah i just had talked about the 3d printer headboard the 3d print headboard and over here we have a cnc controller board this particular one that i have here is not populated but i will be posting a video here um that's showing the pick and place machine that actually is putting together some of these board sisters. 
So this board is working, it's working really well, and it integrates well with all these other boards. Um, for the pick and place machine, we have this board, and I believe that I have one of these boards and another couple boards that play some accessory roles to make whatever a pick and place machine is be a pick and place machine. <clears throat> we have uh, just a Pi board. This attaches to a Raspberry Pi. You want to do some, excuse me, if you want to do some um, computer vision or other boards, some computer vision or other, you know, highly process intensive uh, operations that can happen there. And then you also have a way to get onto the bus to transport to um, communicate with the rest of the system. Another small little voltage regulator, um, an I.O. board that I was not very happy about. I think I'm going to be changing the way that this one works. A large motor driver board for driving large motors. And this one here is a part of a development platform, uh, which is going to work with a little car like this. So it's got four motor controllers on there, a little bit of I.O. for some other fun things, and... Uh, that board also will work with all of these other boards. So, um, you can see that things are connected together here, but um, not only can they just be directly connected, like you put this one on and off, when I hold it down it's on, when I let it go it's off, we can also put some logic into some of these. Um, into this system. So here I have a latch. You push it, the light goes on. You push it again and the light goes off. If you push and hold, like it doesn't matter how long you hold it, it's just when you press it again, then it will <clears throat> change state. So here we have the, um, we finished with the sample program. Let's uh, make ourselves a new program. So, open up my browser here, and everything is going to work through the browser. And really quick here, um, let's just open up. So, this is the web page that Zorg is spitting out. And you can see here that when I push this button, you can see that everybody gives us a little light show. Right, so like, Zorg is the one that's running the show here. Are not necessarily running the show. Every board is doing their own thing independently, but you can tell that Zorg is connected. So you can see here that I have all of the boards in our IDE. So let's make a little program here. So I'll pull out a board, and you can see that the outputs here correspond with different buttons and <coughs> um, joystick controls and everything that are on them. Um, so we'll pull out the servo board, how about we can... Um, stack light's just an easy one to see. Let's do the MOSFET board here. And uh, yeah, let's just start there. So I'm going to connect the left joystick X to the output four. And I have these three outputs here as PWM outputs. They could all be all different ones, um, but in this particular instance, I just have those set the way that they are. Um, again, we can just do uh, red to red, yellow to yellow, and green to green. And let's change this to the spline view because I like that a little bit better makes things a little bit easier to see. Um, and we can also put some joysticks to these servos again. Let's just do this here and this here. And what else do we want to have? Well, let's just start there because that's nice and easy. So pretty much we've got three buttons and everything just with the left joystick. So we are going to export this. And all of this will be handled in the background in the in the final version. Right now, we just have to take this. We run a little thing. And we get a little secret code here. We're going to go back to Zorg. And we are going to reset everyone. So you can 
just see that everybody has rebooted and now nothing is doing anything again just like it's supposed to everyone's been reset so we're going to go and take that secret code that we just had and we'll paste that right in there and you can see this is the program and you can see the program that is running here and now you can see that we have a new program you can see down here that as I move left and right how about I pull this back up on the screen here so the left joystick you can see that we have it connected to servo 1 in the X direction and in the X direction we also have it connected to this MOSFET here so you can see that when I'm all the way left it is all the way dim and when we are all the way to the right it is all the way bright I go up and down and it moves this joystick some of this other movement on joystick one or is just because I don't move it perfectly up and down we also have some of the other buttons push red push yellow you can see now that like this doesn't have the latch on it because we didn't program it that way and we have the green so yeah um, it's really exciting we're moving along quickly um, a small other thing addition to uh, the CNC board here I say that I keep using them for different things uh, one of the other machines that I'm building is actually the machine that is going to build the linear rails that you see here uh, along with uh, all these other boards and another status update you can see that I've been hard at work here we have quite a few boards in production so all in all here we have uh, about 40 boards and it's a good start so it's a lot of fun to play with it's coming along good and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here thank you